don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey, it's me, Reclawan, and today I finally pulled uh, the last cards that I was missing to build the Resonator deck, being uh, Scarlet, 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 <laughs> Scarlet, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Red Rain, um, which were like down to the last 12 packs. So thank you for that. I'm really glad that I used all my gems on Mecha Phantom Beats, by the way. That was such a good financial decision. Anyway, I can finally play. Resonators. Uh, this list is pretty standard. Nothing too exciting. Skullmeister is really cool against uh, PK. What else? What else does it work? It doesn't work against Infernoids because they're not activated effects. Um. What else does it work against? I don't know. It's a cool. It's a cool. It's a cool end trap uh, that has seen play in the past and will probably keep seeing play in the future. I guess it works against some Salaman Greats. And um. Whatever. Also, I got a, a um, Prismatic Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, this list is, like, not really... I'm just trying to learn the deck. Um, I'm going to see if it's a good fit for Stage 2. And you might be thinking, Mechlord, you absolute idiot, you fool. You don't know how to play this deck. You will never know how to play this deck. You're stupid. You've messed up decks and combos before. Uh, you are stupid. But let me tell you this, I might be a little bit too optimistic, I might be like not cautious enough regarding my plays, I might be very salty when it comes to certain matchups or draws or, or poor situations, I might be indescribably handsome, I might be French, I might be stupid, but I'm not stupid. So this will go just fine. Um, I don't know man, Just let's just, let's just do the games. Uh, first game of the day is against a legend rank 5 guy. Uh, I've already reached level level max in the KC Cup, so I'm just gonna play in legend and lose to red eyes. And I open the red rain. I'm playing against my dull shit too. This is fine, I can still do the part of the combo where um I get rid of the Skullmeister to um, get a Resonator in Graven Red Sprinter, hoping the one back row is going to be enough. I'm going to need to flip the glass to play. Uh, Modulch is kind of a boring deck, I feel. Loris does the same thing. Nothing really unique or interesting about the way it plays. It's just kind of a snooze fest. The fact that I open Red Rain means that I can't set it and activate it with the skill. They just set the Magellan. That is interesting. Okay, double MSU is really cool. I'm, that means I'm only likely to contend with one backer. So hopefully I'm eating the proper two. One of them's a book of God fucking damn it. Uh do I care? No, I don't. I don't think I care. I don't think I wanna um, I don't think I wanna um, get rid of this. Maybe one of them's a cyclone, and that's that would be actually really good if it were the case. Uh, it has to be flip summoned, not flip face up. Flip summoned, yep. Okay, what was the other one? A book. Anyway. Uh, lots of text. I'm not reading all of this. I'm happy and get happened for you. You're sad. Okay, I'm gonna send... Which one do you send to Grave? Is it the uh, Crimson? Yeah, it is. And then you get the Red. Sprinter. And then you Normal Summon. Red Sprinter. And you Red Sprinter F. Okay, he doesn't have anything... Okay, this is a Cosmic Cyclone. This is a Cosmic Cyclone. 100%. It is a Cosmic Cyclone. Which means that I don't have to worry about this anymore. Which is really cool. Red Rising. Um, into bringing back the Crimson Resonator. Okay. Uh, Crimson Resonator. 
for these two. I think I can go Bane. I actually don't know the line. Uh, maybe I should have studied this deck before. I'm just gonna get a bunch of life points. And then what? Then we go for... Uh, all the cards on the field. That does sound kind of interesting. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that because... I already have everything else I need. There we go. Oh, fuck, wait, I can... Oh. Mother. I could have made my... Oh, it's in defense position only, so yeah, there was no playing around it. I don't care about that. Um... That's why I did not miss Lethal. Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend! Molten Crimson Tide is what he said, I think. Okay, so he's gonna activate Draw Sense, low level, and... Yep, he's gonna draw a Magellan. At which point I'm going to... Wait, but he doesn't have any... <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, Pitting Cicerus in Grave. I, he messed up his turn one setup. Oh, it's such a shame. Such a shame. Second game is going to be against Malefics? Hmm. Oh, fuck, it's a Japanese player. Oh, thank god, it's going to be Magical Musketeer or some dumb shit. Uh, okay, so I did open... Oh, I can send Wild Wind to the grave? I can send Red Sprinter, doesn't do anything. Wild Wind is poten potentially an extender. Do I really care, though? I'm gonna send this guy. Yeah. I immediately regret that. No, it's cool. It's cool. No, it's... Uh, mm, I don't know if it's cool. Anyway. What would you have done? Cly. Notorious Cly. Of a uh, notorious YG of fame. Really, very cool guy. Really nice guy. Um, I should have watched more of his videos <laughs> before playing this deck. Uh... It still works, right? I, I forgot what my skill reads. I think it reads win the game, but there's a little, couple more words to this, like term and conditions. It's not always guaranteed and stuff. Up, up. Red resonator. Uh, give me 20 million life points. Uh, and then what? Then we make Scarlight Red. Right, because we need to activate this skill to get our trap. And... Roaring Soul. So it says, one feet type on the field one on the, the deck. So I'm gonna return Red Printer. I'm gonna return Red Resonator. Said Red Brain. Risk of red rain. <laughs> that was a funny joke. Um, and then we are going to extend a little bit more. One drinking wild wind into red rising. Into if I had known this, I would have wouldn't have used the red resonator effect on red rising. Red rising brings back a red resonator. And then we make. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. And then we tribute the Red Rising Dragon. In order to bring back the Scarlight Red Archfiend Dragon. RDA is such a cool archetype. Visually speaking. Although I don't get what's happening on this, this part of the tale. Like, why is it like that? I like the um, Gauntlet and the Broken Horn. These are 5Ds references. I don't get w w what's happening with the tail. I kind of like the huge arm blades there. Uh, I think that's a decent turn one setup. We have the flans to protect our own Scarlight RDA against against uh, Bomb. Piece of shit. I don't have to do this. You fucking asshole. 
Wait, it doesn't work the way I want it to work. Oops. It's fine. I wasted two k- <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's a play only I could make. Also, fuck you. Mine can't, really? It's fine. Completely cool, yo. Um, I have enough cards to... I have the Wild Wind Engrave I'm going to be able to leverage into a... I don't know, actually. Because Sprinter only works if you control no other monsters. I have two... Hmm... Never fucking mind, everything worked out. Holy shit. What are the odds? You piece of shit! Come on! Really? God damn it! I hate limited three staples! I hate limited three staples! I hate them with all of my heart! It's cool. It's fine. Oh, cool. That's really fantastic. Do I not have a card I can summon off of the... Uh... Do I not have a red sprinter in deck? Or is it part of the skills only once per duel? I need to read my skill again. Uh... Max one effect per turn. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You're playing War Rock with, like, a limit of three staples. And I'm an idiot, so I messed up this play. I wasted two cards. Ugh, I don't even want to play this one anymore. Okay, two Gs. I'm going first. Hopefully I don't uh, mess up how Red Rain works. I trade again? Are you kidding me? What was the other thing? I'm not that high. Uh, one win can go. And... Yeah. And Skullmeister is... Like, is Skullmeister good against... Um... I think it is. Oh. I think it must have been really good. Mirpresence Hero. Oh. That sucks. That sucks a bit less. This kind of. This actually stops Liquid Soldier. Which is very fun. It's McKnight! Come on! Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate McKnight! Why are McKnight still? Uh, yeah, fuck you. I, I, I forgot to swap, swap Cleric as well. I guess it's fine. Yeah, good luck winning with your three cards in hand, dipshit! Oh, me as an extender. Then Purple Nightfall is any card in his deck. Purple Nightfall should be limited to three. Like, it's just insane that this card is allowed to exist, right? Like, it, it's just a, a Stratos that dodges targeted removal also. And then becomes part of rank 8 monster. Like, it's just insane. I guess it doesn't clear back row, so a little bit less busted than Stratos, but come on, dude. What is he? Okay, so he's dumping this. Another purple nightfall. So we already had it. That's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Wow! Wowzers! I have the MST. It's fine. I drew red sprinter. You flipping dude. I guess I don't know. I don't know what the other card is. It probably if it's Book of Moon. It's Book of Moon, you know? Um, fuck you, Red Sprinter. I don't want you in my hand. I want you in my deck, and then I want you in my hand. This makes sense. I'm a genius for this. Anyway. Sprinter. Sprinter F.
Am I dead next turn? I might be. He is hoping he bricked on a monster or something. Sure, you don't have the columns, but go ahead. Get get you anything. Who cares? Unless you drew the back row that you needed. I just can't win. I just can't win. You know, it's really fun how there were so many decks introduced in the last few main boxes. Sulfur Chords, Resonators, Synchrons, which is basically Quasar Turbo, which I think a lot of people find actually uh, kind of enjoyable, but it's really weak. Time Lords are kind of weak. What did we get in the last main box? I forgot, I need to check. Raiders Requiem, oh that was the PK, that was the PK main box. We got Red Raptors, Dual Avatar, Phantom Knights of course. And none of these decks, none of these decks, not even Phantom Knights. Like everybody bitches about Phantom Knights, but Phantom Knights is not as good as Mech Knights. It's just not as good as Mech Knights. Phantom Knights, like the, the Requiem Turbo version, 9 out of 10 times, you're either getting disrupted because your combo deck with crucial choke points, or you have zero follow-up and you lose, because you used all your effects turn 1. Mech Knights have no issue following up their plays, they have no issue in consistency even after the nerfs. Purple Nightfall should be moved to 3, and until then the game is gonna suck, the game is gonna abs be absolutely bad, completely garbage. Bad game. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this deck is kinda cool, this deck is kinda neat. I feel like it's a bit too limited to be really all that powerful for the time being. It has a very interesting premise, but it is also very susceptible to disruption, and this premise but may not actually be as game-winning as you'd hope. So, I don't know, kind of tone on this, but it's really a fun deck that I'm going to play a bit more. I'm just going to... Yeah, there we go. Seems better. Thank you for watching once again. I'll see you guys and gals in non-binary pals next time.